Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and today, yay, Serpent Shrine Cavern walkthrough! I've uh, wrangled in my husband to help me out here, so big thank you, sweetheart, I really appreciate it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get to Outland, um, and easiest way is to uh, go to the shrine in Pandaria, take the portal to Shatrath, and then fly north to Zangamarsh, and you're gonna go into this Colfang Reservoir area, right between the little sign here, right in the center, and you're gonna just go right in the water. And don't worry about having like a breathing potion or anything, it's, you won't need it, you can get out of here in plenty of time. And you're gonna just follow the pipeline all the way down. <clears throat> and just keep swimming. Um, so I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas, and uh, that you didn't go too crazy on Boxing Day. Uh, my husband and his dad went shopping, and he was awesome, and he got me a new hard drive. So I'm very, very excited about that, and he got himself a new headset and mouse and everything, so that was cool. Alright, so, you end up in here. Now, on uh, the far left entrance over here is the Slave Pens. And then the next one right here is Steam Vault, and the far right one is Underbog, and those are the dungeons. The raid itself is behind this waterfall. Um, this is the Burning Crusade raid, so you need to be level 70 to run it, but um, even if you are level 90, it is very difficult to solo this. I would recommend having minimum two people. Um, just because of the last boss, and we'll get there in a minute. So you're going to go down here. Do not fall. You're going to wait. Do not jump down. You're going to wait for the little elevator to come up. Um, and there's three pets in this uh, dungeon that you get for uh, Raiding with Leashes 2, the Attunement Edition. Um, you can get the Tide Skipper, the Tainted Waveling, and the Coil Fang Stalker. So I'm going to, we'll, I'll explain which bosses once we get down there. So get down to here. And you're going to go all the way down. It moves pretty fast. And then get off over here. Ooh, there goes half my health. There we go. And follow the path here and you're going to go up the ramp and you're going to have to take a second elevator. There, just made it. And then all the way up here. This is a smaller one, shorter one. And then down over here, where you can see my husband and his very cool transmog set. Say hi. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, you don't need to kill trash. You can probably skip a lot of it. Um, I don't think you get, you don't get any rep from this raid, so we can blow past a lot of the trash. Um, the only thing that you can get from trash, you can get uh, leatherworking, blacksmithing, and tailoring patterns. There's a couple um, epics um, and st other stuff for rep, Mark of the Illidari stuff. Um, these guys, the uh, Underbog Colossus, it's a good idea to kill quickly. Um, if you let them stay up and you just kind of keep running, they will... Uh, spawn additional ads, and that just gets really annoying. So the first boss we're going to do is Hydros the Unstable. Um, and he's really, really simple. I would recommend killing off the uh, Wavelings if you're doing this not at 90 um, first, but you can definitely pull the boss before you do anything. So go ahead and pull him, sweetie. I cannot allow and I'll handle the ads. So it'll make things easier. And then he drops guys. So I've soloed the entire raid minus the last boss. And oh, I haven't soloed the uh, one of the other bosses, but that boss is completely optional. So he's dead. And what dropped? Oh, and the pet dropped. So I'm gonna pass on all of this because I have the pet. But this is the first pet that drops, the tainted core. Do you have that one? Yes, he does not. Okay, you want to... Well, I'll pull it out. Doesn't matter. So this is what he looks like, the Tainted Waveling. And what'll happen is, 
he'll go green and then if he'll sometimes go blue and he'll be just like a regular water elemental and then he'll go back to being green so we're gonna keep going around and we're gonna do ah that's not the one i wanted but we're gonna do the uh, fish boss next which is this way um do you have the achievement to fish him up Saison? Sorry, do you have the achievement to fish him up? Okay. So, these guys you kind of can't avoid pulling, which is fine, but at the very least, you'll get some gold if you decide to lose them. So, that's that. And then just run down here. Now, you, again, this boss is completely optional. There is an achievement. Uh, and it is in fishing. Professions, fishing. Where is it? Lurker above. So the fish up the lurker below. So I'm going to let him do it because I already have this achievement. Um, and the But the one great thing that you do get from killing him is when you are in the water and you haven't killed him, these coil thing frenzies show up. And they'll attack you and they won't come onto land. It's just really annoying. So... I recommend uh, I recommend doing this boss just so that A to get the fishing achievement um, and B just to kind of avoid getting destroyed by the little guys especially if you're doing this at a lower level it's just it makes it a lot easier because they are pretty strong there we go he got the achievement and now we kill him now he jumps around for a bit so the faster you can kill him the better um, eventually he will do a water spray move, and if it hits you, you get knocked back, and he'll knock you back anyway. And then he spawns a bunch of adds. So here's the whirl. No, that's not the whirl. Okay, yeah, we killed him too quickly anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if you kill him slower, adds will spawn on uh, these little platforms around here, and you'll have to kill them. And then he'll do a water spray move that you'll want to avoid. But that is pretty much it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So now, you are in the water, and you don't get attacked. And that's pretty fantastic. Come on, levitate, let's go. Here we go. Alright. And where's the thing to get back up? Here it is. Um, so yeah, again, not in, not required, but definitely nice to, to do. Um, so... Let's just keep moving. And we'll need to get halfway around. We'll need to get to this point here. So I'm just gonna run and pull as many as I can. Now this, uh, doing this one, I think you can go either way. I usually just go left, um, no particular reason, I just do. So again, we can bypass this trash, and then just go up, and then kill this guy, because yeah, they have a really big, uh, Tark, uh, I guess, and, uh, yeah, he'll just spawn a bunch of adds if you just try and run past him. It's just not worth the hassle. Alright, and the next boss is Leotharus the Blind. Um, I should note that if you are just doing this for a pet run, you can skip the Lurker below and the next two bosses we're going to fight, and you can go right instead of going left at the little key there. Um, kill the Tide Skipper and then run back for run back to Vash for the last boss. Um, if you don't want to kill all the other ones, um, because they're skippable and you don't, um, you can go you can go the opposite way to kill the last boss, which is really nice. If you're, again, if you're just doing this for pets, if you want this for tier tokens or mats or what have you or gold, then by all means do the whole thing. So these. 
You can't attack him, so you have to kill the adds first. And now we can kill him. into phase nope we killed him too quickly no phase two all right so i don't remember what phase two is but there we go now we can loot him and he drops tier five gloves your tier piece so i don't think i saw oh i did mine was mine was there whoops oh well okay well i will reload i don't want all that Oh, well. Okay, so I'll get my gloves. That's exciting. Oh, I need to empty out my inventory. Okay, so that's it for that one. Pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, Lurker Below doesn't drop anything that exciting, but he drops tier 5 uh, gloves. And the next try drop can drop the token for your tier 5 legs, so that's pretty nice. Alright, so the next guy is actually a group, if memory serves. Yeah, this guy's in a, in a group, so um, he's a little bit trickier for soloing, I will say. Um, again, if you're soloing this just for pets, you can totally skip the, this, the la one we just bought and the next one. Perfect. Yeah, see, my little tainted waveling is blue right now, so he'll stay like that for... He's purified. Yeah, so he's got four more seconds and then he'll be back to green. Yeah, he's all poisonous and gross now. Okay, so there's the Fathom Lord, and you see he has all the extra guys guarding him. advice to you is to kill the ads first, obviously, um, but you have to do them in a somewhat specific order, and having the silence is very helpful. Okay, so. I recommend killing her first, and then killing him. then killing him, and then kill the boss. So, let's go. Stunned. Except for this one again, this guy has a chance to drop your leg, so I can pass on that. Oh, I will greet the. No, I will need those. Nothing there, nothing there. And now we keep going. Okay, so again, those last two ones, completely optional. You don't have to fight them if you are just doing this for the um, pets. And you can skip the one we fished up as well. And the rate on getting the pets is pretty good. I think it's about 25-30%. Um, in what I've run, I would say the Tainted Waveling is more like 75%, and Lady Vash is more like 50%. Um, but, again, it's... I'm only one person running it, so... It'll vary. I've had extremely good luck with pets. This guy... Not so much. This guy took me a long time to get, and he, I think, is actually at 40% chance to drop, so I just had really unfortunate luck. Um, you can kill the murloc that are around here. I would recommend killing the murlocs first if you are soloing this. 
but uh, if you've got a couple people, it's not that big of a deal. Um, this guy is a bit of a pain to solo. Um, it is very handy to have um, a couple, I would recommend some mana potions um, if your DPS is not very high. Other than that, he's pretty good. And he's dead. So he has a chance to drop. Uh, she didn't drop it this time, so. He has a chance to drop. Come on, get out of my way. I want Alice loot. Go away. He has a chance to drop the uh, Tide Skipper pet. Which looks like this. Just a little mini version of him. I'll run, around, I'll run out of it so you can see it better. Uh, this guy. Okay, and we have one boss to go. Which is Lady Vash, who is a humongous, ginormous pain in the ass. Uh, she drops your tier 5 helm token, and she also drops the Quilfang Reservoir. Or Quilfang... Stalker, uh, pet. So, um... This mechanic does not change no matter how well your- no matter how good your DPS is. Um, you do- this mechanic will just happen because it's percent-based, not time-based. Um, it's a pain. And like I said, I can't- I have yet to solo this. I've tried to read ways to solo this. It's very difficult, um... So I would recommend having at least two people. Um, if you're just doing this for the achievement for the, uh, if you're just doing this for the achievement for the raid, grab as many people as you can. <coughs> it won't hurt anything. Um, but no, I don't need to. if you are doing this for the pet, um, at least one person would be a good idea. Okay, and then we'll skip past these guys. And then we don't need to go all the way. We only need to go two circles over. And as far as I know, you can skip all the bosses and just go straight to Lady Vash if you just want to quickly do the uh, achievement to kill Lady Bash, but it's kind of fun to go and get them all, especially if you're going for gear. Then all you need to do is click on this, and her lair becomes available. And then you just boogie across. And yes, boogie, that's a technical term. Tide skipper there looks like he's having a seizure. Okay, so again, here's some more water, so if we hadn't killed the lurker, we would have had those little fish guys on us, but Alright, so I'm going to explain this fight before we quickly do it. So she will just attack, and you attack her down to about 75-70%, I think it's 70. And eventually she will have a shield right around there, and it is impenetrable, you cannot attack her. And she will summon random mobs. You are waiting for the tainted elementals, I believe they are called, and you need to kill them, because they drop these little uh, tainted cores. I believe, no, that's what the pet's called. I don't remember what they're called. Anyway, I'll show you once we get there. Um, I'm also going... Oh, I'm not leader. Can you switch the loot to free-for-all, please? <clears throat> Thank you. Um, you need to loot it, and then click on one of these four little totem things here. Once you have the item on you. Oh, okay. Um, one of the four, and then as soon as it reduces um, her, her, the percentage on her shield by 25%, and then as soon as you get all four, she becomes attackable again, and then you... Okay, so here it is. We got into six, so yeah, it's at 70. So, 
uh, you can see my little countdown. So next Naga, the Nagas that come uh, are pretty strong and the Striders that come will, um, <clears throat> will fear you. So you want to kill those guys very quickly. Um, so these are the elementals, the enchanted elementals. So we're waiting for a tainted one. Um, and you have to make sure they don't run and attack her because if they get close to her, um, she gets powered up. So here, these the four barriers, so that's what we need to click on these uh, shield generators for. So if one of the adds gets to her, she gets a... Her forked lightning gets a buff, and it gets very strong very quickly. Okay, so tainted elemental soon. So where is the Naga? I am looking for you. It said Naga soon. There you are. Okay, so he needs to die relatively quickly. Okay, I will find the Tainted Elemental. And how you find them, so you look for the little, you, you, I lucked out, I saw it really quickly. You look for the little poison shooting, and you attack them, and you loot them. So usually it's a good idea to have, so Tainted Court is what it's called. Usually it's a good idea to have um, people like breaking off into quadrants, but my husband has pretty good DPS, so he can, uh, he can handle the ads mostly, and I can help him out while we're waiting. So, we have one of them down. You can see that this one's no longer pushing out the electricity. So we've got Naga soon. There it is, the Coil Fang Elite. This is a very good way to blow through your mana out, also. Okay, change elemental soon. So what I usually do is I just stand here and I look for the poison shooting. Change elemental, okay. Where are you? I don't see you. I can't see the... Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, same spot as before. Alright, I'll take it. Okay, and then again, loot it. And then... Um, the Tainted Core on you used to do something, but they got rid of it, I guess, now, because it's not current. But it used to be when you pick, I think your movement got slowed or something like that. So, there we go. Now that one's done. So now we are down to two. So she's got... Oh, none of them have made it to her yet. Nice job, sweetie. become a little purple ball. Okay, change elemental. Where are you? No, oh, I heard you. There it is. Oh, it's way over there. So I'm gonna look it to the other side. See. Oh, it moved. Okay, I didn't move too far though, at least. Kill it. Pick up the item. Okay, now we've only got one more after this one. There we go. Okay, last one. So, what happens, I believe, maybe this doesn't happen. I wish I could remember. I haven't run this in a while. What will happen is every time one of them hits her, um, she'll get this buff, and it's it's incre incre every time one hits her, this buff increases by it's a ten percent. It's back than in tens. Okay, and here's the big ginormous thing that's gonna fear me. Come on. Why can't I attack you? It is in front of me. Oh, you're in front. Okay. I keep spearing me. I'm gonna fear. Bubble. Okay, well, whatever. We'll get this guy because he's the last one. Okay, and there's the last tainted core. So now we will do this. Is that quill fanging dead? Oh, good. These things are stupid. Okay, so now I will click on this last one. Oh, screw off. Okay, there we go. She is now attackable. There we go. She's 
dead. And what does she drop? So we have... Oh, it's free for all. Okay, I'm gonna take my helm. And, okay, so the pet didn't drop, but the pet that dropped is this one. And it's really, really cute. Go ahead and loot it and see if you're a tier piece property. Okay, and so that's how you run Serpent Shrine Cavern, guys. Really, really easy with two people. Um, significantly more difficult with one. Um, but again, the more people you have, the easier you people can really just take a little quadrant and you can just wait for the tainted elemental. But yeah, that's it for this. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, I'm still trying to work on an ice crown one, hopefully. Maybe I'll do that. Um, getting together with a large group of friends soon, so maybe we can work something out where all of us could do ice crown or Aldua or something like that. Anywho, uh, Project 14 for Project Chronicle is coming up relatively soon. I'm a little bit nervous, <clears throat> but uh, I think it should be good. Um, so if you have any ideas for videos you would like to see, not necessarily gaming related, um, but yeah, just, uh, leave it down in the comments below. Anywho, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.